Bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. Welcome back to this channel. If you're new and you just subscribed, thank you very much. And if you've been following me over the last few episodes, thank you so much for your support. It really, really means a lot and motivates me to make more videos for you. That's right. Today is very exciting. We are going to be talking about all about how to learn a language in virtual reality. That's right. How to learn a language in VR using an app called Mondly Languages. But before we do that, let's roll the intro. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that together you and I, we can grow the community and get more people to benefit from VR. Whew, that's right, because that is what it's all about. Today, we're going to be talking about an app called Mondly, which is about how to learn languages in VR. They have 20 to 30 different languages you can learn with so many different in situ or real situations from being in a taxi, a hotel reception, at a, a building desk, and so many other things. It's very user-friendly to use, but instead of me talking about it, let's just jump into VR. Let's go into the Oculus. Okay, so we're inside the Oculus Go. Let's go and check out this really cool app called Mondly Languages. Okay, so after you load the app, you will be greeted with this cool UI with all the different flags from all the different languages that you can basically learn in this app. There's 20 to 30 plus more apps. Just to let you know that this app is not free. There is a minimal fee to pay, which is only a few bucks. So honestly speaking, uh, I'll take you through the app, but it's actually pretty worth it, I think, because learning a new language in VR is so immersive and so much easier to remember things. So uh, what you do is you can basically just you mouse over the flag and then you choose the language you want to learn. So maybe you want to learn some Italian or some Danish or some, some Dutch or some Chinese as the Chinese is pretty uh, in vogue at the moment. Um, and there are some differences depending on the language that you want to learn. So for example, uh, let's go to Italian first. Uh, excuse me if I sound a bit nasally. Today my nose is, uh, is a little bit blocked. <laughs> uh, so, the difference I wanted to point out is if you look at the top, you see vocal vocabulary, conversation and multiplayer. I'll just I'll talk about that in just a minute. So uh, recently, as of this recording, the app developers did an update. If it takes, you know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to load, don't worry, it's absolutely normal. So for vocabulary, uh, if we go on to it, you will see there are different scenarios where you can actually learn different words. And then here you can navigate also. So if you go to vegetables. Which vegetable is associated with Halloween? That's right. A pumpkin. In Italian, a pumpkin is called una zucca. The pumpkin. A pumpkin. Una zucca. A pumpkin. Let's see what's next. A pumpkin is called una zucca. These are carrots. To say a carrot, you say una carota. A carrot. Una carota. Did you know that eating carrots will improve your vision? This is amazing. Una carota. Una carota. Now, could you repeat after me? Una carota. Did you know that eating carrots will improve your vision? This is amazing. Now, could you repeat after me? Una carota. Una carota. Una carota. So you can mouse over and also repeat the word. Una carota. Una carota. So you're greeted with this young lady uh, who is basically teaching you how to say certain words. And they're trying to recreate, uh, uh, you know, a supermarket, it's a real supermarket. Uh, it's all done in 3D. I don't think it's a picture, but the, um, they put pictures of the actual vegetables up there. Uh, on the uh, panels so um, okay you can she will teach you here for example you can click on the microphone so when you load the app also after that they're gonna ask you to calibrate your your microphone and access your microphone just click okay so that uh, basically this is what you can do that didn't sound quite right you click and Let's hold try that you say, again. Una, carota. una carota and then you release and the app is automatically that didn't sound quite right. Of Let's course. Try that again. 
Una carota. Una carota. So of course it didn't recognize the word because I was talking uh, just now whilst I had the microphone on. Uh, I'll show you in another part of the um, app how to use a microphone properly. Okay, let's get out of this scene. We'll go to another scene. Okay, to go back to another scene, all you do is you click on the back button and then it will ask you, are you sure you want to quit, calibrate, home or redo? So we want to go to home and then I click on the trigger. Okay, so then you're brought back to the main menu. Uh, we can look at, for example, they have different ones. So they have space or so, an intro. Uh, but instead of taking you through vocabulary, I want to take you through conversation. Now, conversation, they also have different scenarios from inside introduction in a train, in a taxi, in a hotel, uh, hotel reception, hotel room, uh, at the restaurant, appointments, uh, shopping, tickets when you're buying tickets. And I'm sure as the app grows, they will add more scenarios also. So do take notes. You see vocabulary here. Now, if I want to learn another language, let's say I want to learn Chinese. I go to Chinese, boom, you see vocabulary is gone. Only conversation and multiplayer beta, which I'll take you through in just a second. So it really depends on the language you want to learn. Sometimes the vocabulary is not yet available. So I'm sure they will add this in future updates. Uh, after you've paid the app, by the way, nothing else at the moment is chargeable. Okay, so all the languages you can learn come bundled with the app itself. So let's go to I want to learn Chinese. Uh, sorry. We choose one of the scenarios, so let's go to the introduction one. So you're greeted with this scenario. Now, all the languages that you will learn, they will place you in the same scenario, uh, but the, of course the dialogue will be different pertaining to the actual, uh, to the actual language itself. So on the left-hand side here, you will have the words that you can ask to play on. So here you'll see what your interlocutor says. <laughs> I would just put teacher um, and then continue. And then here on the right hand side, you have things you can say. So I'll show you how this works. So you click continue first. Okay, so you have the Chinese characters here and then here. So you click on the sound that she's going to make. So they're just taking you through um, a, uh, basically the tutorial as to how to use the app. Uh, because I did the update recently, they're asking me to, to do this, so it's great that I get to show you. So I can switch from uh, Pinyin, which will show me like this, or I can switch to Hanzi, which is the Chinese characters. Okay, all right, let me close this. Let me close that. And here you'll see what you can say. So I'll just skip this. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the Hanzo so I can get the pinyin because I much rather uh, see, see it like this because when you learn in Chinese, they have different tones, by the way, four different tones. So um, for me, it's nicer to, to, to know which tone to actually speak, which is xia wu hao which is good afternoon. So if you mouse over the word, it will then give you the translation just under the word here, good afternoon. So I mouse over again, I see it, good afternoon here. And so I just click on the snail. And then I can hear what she's saying with the proper tone. I click again. Okay, and I can hear again. So then they're asking me things that I can Hi. say. So there's two options here. I can either click 你好. on the volume button to hear what it what it should sound like. Hi. And then I pick the one that I want to repeat. So now to do this, just like earlier, just now, you press and hold on the microphone, but make sure you only press and hold and say the word you want, not like now I'm talking to you, otherwise it'll pick up and I won't think that I did a good job. So I'm gonna say, 你好. 你好。你的名字是什么? And then I release. And it has the hands here, the characters, with the little icon to say that I said it correctly. Now it takes me, now it will take me to the next 
、uh, phrase to say. 你的名字是什么 ？So 你的名字是什么 ？Which means what is your name? Okay, what is your name? I lived in China for a while, so all these kind of introduction things I already know. But to someone who has never learned Chinese, which can be really, really hard, by the way, it's taking me such a long time, and my Chinese is not still it's still not very very good. I'm still very much a beginner.、Um, but I can see here, 我的名字叫 So 我的名字 which is 我 my 的名字 name 叫叫 is、um, 我的名字叫 You know, it's called. So then I have to fill up the blank. So let's put.、Uh, let's just hear it first. My name is. My name is. And let me click and hold, and then release after I finish talking. My name is. My name is. I'm very happy to meet you. Okay. My name is not Logis. I'm very happy to meet you. Okay, so let's go into another.、Uh, let's go back to home. All right, as you know, I am, I am from France, so I have to show you the French, and、uh, make sure that I know that it's good. Okay, we go to French, and I will show you another scenario. Ah, okay. By the way, this、uh, this updates here. We are around June here.、Uh, these are brand new. So let's go to appointment. Let's check it out. So I'm completely immersed here. I'm in a reception of some kind. Of course, it's an office building. I can see the workers over there on my right. And when I turn around at the elevator, I can see some people sitting down over there too. And this is my receptionist. It looks like it's the same bon lady.、Um, so let's check this out. Bon après-midi, which means good afternoon. So let's、uh, click again. Bon après-midi. Bonjour. Bon après-midi. Okay, so let's do salut. Bon après-midi. Salut. Oh bonjour. Bonjour. And bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Okay, so let's test the app and see whether it's really accurate in terms of the word. Okay,、uh, I'm going to say.、Um, Pardon. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so it says, pardon, which means I'm wrong. Let's try something else. Parlez lentement. Bon.、Mm. Parlez lentement. Parlez lentement. She's telling me to speak slowly. Okay, so we can tell that you know they're she, they picked up the first part of the word, which is bon and bon. But when I said um,、mm, they didn't pick up the jour. So it's actually pretty accurate. They're not just telling you, okay, you pass, you know, to cheat and make you think that you 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 learned and you said it correctly when actually you didn't. Okay, if you really did not say the word properly, they will not allow you to go to the next step unless you click skip yourself. All right. So let's say it properly now. Bonjour. Que désirez-vous, s'il vous plaît? And now it told me that the word is correct. Okay. Que désirez-vous, s'il vous plaît? Okay, let's go into another room to check.、Uh, I want to show you.、Um, I want to show you the beta multiplayer. All right, let's go and check out multiplayer beta because this is brand new and something I'm pretty excited by. Okay, so. This is basically something brand new that I think is really cool. I like the direction in which the app is going.、Uh, basically, they're trying to make the app more interactive, get more people, you know, who don't necessarily know each other but want to learn a similar language、uh, within the same room to maybe practice together.、Uh, also, I think it could be a great、uh, in the future. You know, this is the only room that currently is available. So, I mean, kind of a dining room or maybe a hotel lounge or a restaurant lounge. Um, I think it'd be great if, in the future, they could actually have like a classroom, because that's normally where people, you know, learn. And also, I think if you're meeting with a potential language pal, then normally you would meet somewhere like a Starbucks or a coffee place, not somewhere where you have, you know,、uh, candlelit things. It's not. We don't really go and, you know, date to learn languages. Normally, we. You know, learn in a public setting where there's lots of other people. So this would be my, you know, two cents worth in terms of how they could potential potentially improve in the future. 
Um, and of course, because the app is relatively new, uh, not many people have probably bought this app. So it can be quite tough to find someone else who you don't know to meet up here and talk with them. So I'm not able to give you that demonstration today. However, if let's say you find a, a teacher pal based in another country. So if one of my friends, well, I found a teacher in China or in France or in Italy, and I want to, to learn with them uh, on a one-to-one, -one, then, you know, and if they have a VR headset, of course, well, if they're my friend, then they won't charge me, but I could actually pay them a fee offline, uh, either using cryptocurrency or Skype or whatever it would be. And then, you know, we would meet up here for an hour or two hours and then exchange and talk together. Or I could just meet up with my friends or family who also want to learn the same language as me. And we could also meet up here and learn together. Although, you know, of course there are other apps uh, like old VR, which I did a tutorial on where you could learn as well, or big screen where we could also learn together and learn over there. But this is, you know, a language app. So I think psychologically, if we meet here, uh, our brain will be more in tune to actually remember what our friend is saying to us uh, in terms of improving. So once you're in here, you can actually mouse over the uh, icons like this, and you'll be given a prompt to say, if you leave the table, we reset the conversation so we can continue. So I basically changed seat. I was sitting there where I'm looking now. And then now I'm sitting here. Also, if I click and hold on the button, I can reset the view. Okay, like this. Okay, so this is a room. So I think it's very exciting for what they're trying to do in the future. And I do look forward in terms of the functionality in going to a, a room and learning with other people in multiplayer mode. I assume multiplayer mode means, of course, that you can learn with other people. Okay, so today we talked about how to learn a language in VR using the Monly Languages app. I think as you can see, it's pretty user-friendly and easy to use and very accurate because, you know, I learned Chinese, uh, I learned Italian, uh, sorry, French, because I'm French, not Italian, I don't know Italian, buongiorno, that's all I know. Um, and, you know, they are very accurate. I have to say the Chinese is accurate and the French is accurate. And so, and the English is accurate too. So I assume that all the other languages they have are also uh, accurate. No, I definitely don't know um, Italian, but I do like Italian language. So if you're from Italy, buongiorno and uh, grazie for watching this uh, channel. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment below. <laughs> Put as many ideas and suggestions as you possibly can so that I can go out and shoot the content for you. That's right. And tell me if this app has helped you a lot. Have you downloaded it uh, recently? It's only a few bucks. Honestly speaking, if you don't have the money to hire a private tutor, which honestly 99% of us don't. And if we you know, need to learn something in a rush, you know, we have one week before we have to go somewhere and you know, we always leave these kind of things last minute. Then for me personally, uh, I always enjoy being with someone in a room who teaches me. I need to be immersed. I, I don't like, you know, having a, a, an audio tape put in my ears or learning from a computer or a screen or something. I need to be immersed to really absorb and sponge and remember. This is very important because my memory, oh my God, is so bad. Um, it's a big problem. So um, yeah, being immersed really helps me to remember all the data. So doing this in VR is mind boggling for me it's a big deal i was really happy when i saw this app it's only a few bucks and you know i'm not sponsored by these guys by the way this is my own personal review and i paid for this app so if i didn't think it was good honestly i would not recommend this to you this is really important for you to know and it's the only app for learning languages for adults so you know bear that in mind i know you might be a parent because a lot of uh, some of my viewers are parents as well there are a couple of other apps for kids and I will definitely review that. So click on the notification bell so that you get notified when I do the uh, tutorial or the app review, not really tutorial, um, about the kids version of another app to learn languages, okay? All right, until next time, thank you very much again for watching. I really appreciate your support. Remember to like and subscribe. Until then, take it easy, DJ Q Music.